is modeled after a Trappist style cheese. So you've got a, a beer that's got a little bit of a Belgian history and a cheese that has a little bit of a Belgian history, even though both are made in Wisconsin. Probably a good example of the, the complementing thing when you taste these two. Um, the second one that we're doing will be the, the whichever you want. Wheat, whatever. I think whatever word you want to do. Cherry wheat. Then when we do the cherry wheat, uh, what we pick there, that'll probably be a good example of a, a, of a more of a contrast than a compliment. We picked a cheese there called Dante, which is, comes from the Wisconsin Dairy Sheep Cooperative. Uh, it's an all sheep smoked cheese made in a hard style, almost like a uh, Pecorino Toscano, or even reminds me a little bit of some manchegos that I've had from Spain. Sheep's milk cheeses are phenomenal with beer. If you, if you can only pick one cheese that you can go with a beer, kind of like Riesling is the one wine that goes with all foods, well, sheep's milk cheeses go great with every beer, and it's because they are higher butter fat content than either goat's milk or cow's milk, so they have a richness and a savoriness to them that is so well foiled by the carbonation and the uh, acidity of beer that it's just a, a perfect match every time. And in this case, we went with the, the little bit of um, the, from the tart cherries, the Montmorency cherries, and the cherry wheat, which is almost a little bit of a, uh, almost a citrusy kind of an edge to it. This richer cheese goes nicely with that. And then for the third one, uh, you're gonna have a treat today. Joe brought his Imperial IPA, which is only available on tap. And uh, that's a big beer. And in this case, we're going to compliment them. We're going to do a big beer with a big cheese. It's our best selling cheese called Dunbarton Blue. And it's made by Raleigh Cheese in Schultzburg, Wisconsin. It's essentially an English style KVH cheddar with just a little bit of blue that gets added to the milk for the curd forms. And uh, it's one of those where you know the right hook is going to go with the left jab, more or less. So. <laughs> All right. So,